you should just enslave your kids to do it. Say you better make good grades because if you don't, you're gonna be doing agility for one hour every day. All right, guys, we need to talk about Hi. something very important. Importante. So I've been eating a lot of McDonald's and I've been getting sick. So to burn these thick thighs off, I wanna go and do some laps. And by laps, I mean, we're gonna run around the blood mines for 10 hours. And not like you lazy. I won't be taking a break every 15 minutes to get a five minute snackies. Mm. No, we're gonna be going full force the whole 10 hours. This is a different kind of rune crafting video. This is my video. <gasps> and we will make it the best video ever ever, 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 ever. But first we have to go get some blister wood so that I can light my new lantern that I got from the Guardians of the Rift video, last video, week video, something. Anyway, for what I have to do, it kind of feels like this is a blister in my wood. Because I had to, like, change outfits. You know what I mean? Like, I had to go in my bank. I had to get the outfit. Did a click on things. And then I had to put it on. And then I had to even think of what teleport to use to come get this blister wood. You know, I chose not to be an Iron Man. And I mean it. Don't make me do anything in the game. You know what? Just, you know what? I just don't even, I don't, I'm not even going to play the game anymore. You know what? I quit. I'm not, I'm just going to all F4. No, I'm just kidding. I love this game. But I do like getting my own materials. It is very fulfilling. I do buy some things, but the main reason I am not an Iron Man is literally because. I all right, we are here at the blood mines. Let's go ahead and start that 10 hour timer and start running some laps because these thighs need to work out. Good, you finally started the video. We're only a minute and a half into the video before you started doing the main point of the video. Go away, Snickers. I'm, I'm doing okay. I didn't even mention how I'm not wearing pants. Now, or did I have weird nipples? <laughs> okay, okay. The main goal is to give you guys an understanding of how much XP and GP you can make with doing this, but also how to lose some thick thighs. I need to start stacking my gold so when the new bosses come out, maybe I can afford to get some good gear and farm them for a while and make a few videos on it. Then that will make me enough money to get even better gear and then we can go Super Saiyan and everything RuneScape. Oh, pizza's here. I'm hungry. You want me to stick it in your bowl? All you're gonna do is smell it and leave. Yeah, but I can smell it multiple times if I have a piece. Anyways, at Blood Mines, if you're trying to make the most profit, you'll want to go with what I'm wearing. But if not, it's still super good XP and GP with not a lot of effort. Well, at least a little less effort than Guardians of the Rift. Um, but I am wearing the full Temple of the Eye outfit from Guardians of the Rift, and I also have an Abyss pouch you can make from all the other pouches after getting the Abyss needle from Guardians of the Rift. I have also brought along some Blood Essence. When one is activated, it becomes untradeable and will give a 50% chance to craft an extra Blood Room per Dark Essence fragment, but no additional experience. Each Blood Essence can craft an extra 1,000 Blood Runes before being destroyed. I actually had no idea that these existed until about a week ago, but now I do. So there's, there's that. And that is 88 room crafting, only two more levels until I get to make a video about Soul Root. And a little check in on our progress, we have ran over 3,792 laps and we have burned over 7 trillion calories. None of that's true, but we have done a lot. We have crafted 3,170 blood runes. Blood runes are selling for 200 GP each at the moment, so that makes a total of 634k in the first hour. I also didn't know that the sandwich lady, the Stell Baguette, was a collection log slot, so now I'm doing that. And I got a freaking potato, so I'm gonna eat it. I'm a potato. All right, we have two hours left to go in our 10 hour blood mine adventure. I should be making around 30K blood runes. I see you haven't given up yet. Good job. Thank you, why are you being so nice now? Well, you gave me a pizza to sniff, so I'm floating on clouds and the dragon keeps trying to get me. What dragon? Dragging these nuts across your face. <laughs> so I would say that this is a really good activity to do whenever you're just chilling, watching some YouTube videos and can pay attention, but you don't have to always be looking at the screen. If you're not going for max efficiency, I like to do it whenever I'm editing a video or I have some free time at work. But if you're trying to go super AFK, I would just do something like making cannonballs or the sacred eel fishing. 
maybe even anglers, those are nice too. According to the wiki, I should be doing around 7.5 runs an hour, making 610k GP and 37k XP an hour, which I guess would be tick perfect not missing anything, but I'm not gonna lie, I did end up getting some snackies a few times, so we had a little bit under the goal, but not by much at all. You will need 77 rune crafting, 38 mining, 38 crafting, and 73 agility, which is optional, but I would highly recommend because of the shortcut, it will save you a lot of time compared to if you didn't have it. This shortcut is right here, I'm about to do it after I use my genie lamp on agility because I want to do higher floors in Hollow Sepulchre. I will be right back. Yeah, agility sucks. You should just enslave your kids to do it. Say you better make good grades because if you don't, you're going to be doing agility for one hour every day. I don't have kids, but I do have a human, and I make him play the game for me all the time. Get out of here, this isn't even your account, stickers. Whatever you say, human. Whatever you say. We are coming up on one hour left. I have a little over a minute to get to the blood altar and craft these last few blood runes. I actually don't know if I'm going to have time to make it. I may not be able to make them in the amount of time. It looks like I'm not going to be able to make all of them, but I will definitely be able to make one inventory and halfway kind of craft the next inventory. But let's see if I have two. No, there's no way. I'm just going to go ahead and count all of them right now because I did the math for all of them, but I really don't want to do the math again. So we have finished our goal and lost over 15 pounds in our thick thighs. Doing this today, we ran a total of 1 million laps and we burned a total of 7 trillion calories doing this high intensity workout the blood urns really melt away those thick dice. We have made 29,970 blood urns in this 10 hour grind and that will be a total of almost 5.9 million GP made. We have gained 349,000 rune crafting experience altogether or 35,000 XP an hour. We've gained 41k mining XP and 55.8k crafting XP. We have gained 447,000 XP in total and 44.7K an hour. We made 6 million GP almost, and if you were to divide that by 10 hours, you get about 600K an hour, which is not too bad for something pretty AFK, and you're getting some XP on your way to 99. If you're looking for another video like this one, you can check out my Guardians of the Rift video that will be popping up here very soon. I hope you guys liked the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much. Peace.